hello and welcome to this uh, session on definite integration and here in this tutorial we take a very simple question uh, but an interesting one uh, which will tell us about how we can use integration to find a function which is implicit in definition so the question says I'm just using a highlighter to just highlight the question now this is a function fx which is sin x plus integration minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 the function and again we have ft dt remember for this integration t is a variable of integration x would be a constant and thereof all the functions of x would also be a constant so clearly the solution would go something like this so we can say over here let the function fx if we separate the things and we find out that fx we can further write as sin x taken common and if we take the sin x common from here and here by the way this sin x can also be taken outside the integration so the function becomes 1 plus this is minus pi by 2 2 plus pi by 2 right this is f of t f of t dt plus the second half which is the cos x function now this becomes integration minus pi by 2 2 plus pi by 2 this is t times f of t dt now remember since these are the limit of the integrations are constant it would be a constant so basically what we can do is we can club this and say it a constant a and this constant as b so effectively what is our function our function effectively is fx is equal to now this is a sin x a sin x plus we have b cos x so we just need to find the values of a and b and how do i find this now with this definition we can go and find the value of this what is a a is nothing but a is 1 plus minus pi by 2 2 plus pi by 2 f of t now f of t i can write as a sin t plus this will be b cos t dt because now I am using the definition of the function to start the question. Now clearly the first integrand when we say sin x it is a odd function and the limits are symmetric about 0 so this goes to 0. And for the second one if we integrate what do I get? I get a will be equal to 1 plus if I take the constant outside the integral of cos is <coughs> integral of cos is sin right so basically we have sine pi by 2 minus minus sine pi by 2 which basically means 2 so we have the first equation which is a is equal to 1 plus 2b since there are two unknowns we need to have a second uh, equation as well so we say b is equal to by definition now this will be minus pi by 2 2 plus pi by 2 t times now we can go with definition of the function and the function definition is a sin t a sin t plus we have b cos t dt now remember uh, if i say f fx is equal to x this is a odd function sin x is a odd function multiplication of two odd function is an even function on the other hand cos x is an even function but uh, uh, fx barabar x is a uh, odd function so multiplication of this and this would give me an odd function so this goes to zero in this case right so the definition over here uh, the equation which, which remains over here is we have minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 this is <coughs> uh, a outside and this would be t into sin t right now if i say if i can use integration by parts so what do we have b is equal to a times now see the integration of this the first function and second function if we can use the i rate right so the algebraic function is a first function and this is a second function right we can use a shortcut as well but 
nevertheless on integration we get the value of this integral as 2 right so we have a second equation which is b equals 2a now if we can solve these two equations simultaneously what do I get so if I put the value of b from here in this equation I get a equals 1 plus this is 4 times a so from here we have a is equal to minus 1 by 3 also b would be equal to minus 2 by 3 therefore the answer for this question would be that my function fx right is minus 1 by 3 into sin x plus we have 2 by 3 into cos x hope you would have understood the solution so here we have used a definite integration to solve a implicit definition of the function thanks for watching this video